Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I was only willing to pay $2.99 for... Horde. Horde normally retails for $9.99. I picked this one up deeply discounted during the Steam Summer Camp Sale. The, the legendary Steam Summer Camp Sale. Legendary if, if you're a cheap bastard like I am, at least. So, Horde, what is it? Well, it's made by Big Sandwich Games, whose website proclaims, who doesn't love a big sandwich? And indeed, who doesn't? But Horde is a game about being a dragon. It's a game about flying around and grabbing up treasure, as dragons do, and hoarding it in your dragon cave. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, of course, it gets complicated from there, but all in all, yeah, it's a game about being a greedy dragon. So, let's take a look at it. So, as far as modes, there are there are a few. Treasure mode seems to just be sort of a standard mode uh, where you compete to get a, a certain score. You can see the scores down here. Uh, princess Rush, not really sure. I'm going to assume it involves grabbing princesses, as you can do, and you will see me do in this game. Grabbing princesses is somehow rather satisfying. Horde, which is just like survival. You just have to fly around, get as much treasure you can, as you can, last as long as you can, and you can see that the uh, the medals are based on how long you can last. And you can see that I, I just, just fell short of the bronze there in my uh, best attempt. Co-op, well, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a spin on treasure mode. Let's see if we can find a map. Yeah, a map where we're competing against some other dragons. Let's see. What do we like? What do we like? Big circle. That one's pretty simple. Fertile Crescent. Yes. I think I should have it. Let's do it. Alright, Fertile Crescent. I've never played this map before, so let's go. Start the game. Alright, so pretty simple idea here. You're going to fly around. You use the uh, WASD keys to fly around. You can use a gamepad, but I haven't tried it. Use the mouse to target. So you can target anywhere in your radius, uh, and your dragon will fire there. So you don't have to be facing in the direction. He will turn himself. So this is pretty much the main, uh, <laughs> it's pretty much the main mechanic of the game right here. Kill stuff, collect treasure. So as I destroy that silo, I get some treasure. See this little red bar below me? That indicates how full I am. So I'm holding the treasure, and uh, I can only hold so much. The longer you stay out, the more your score multiplier increases. So you can see it said score multiplier increased, and I've got x2 times 2 times 2. And here's the other aspect of the game, the space bar. Let's hit it. And yeah, we get to upgrade ourselves. So I'm going to start by upgrading my carrying capacity, and uh, yeah, carrying capacity. Um, I'm sure there's an optimal setup and, you know, well, you should upgrade this first and then move on to this next because it increases your... Yeah. Um, no. I'm just getting more space in my dragon sack, uh, or whatever it is that I use to carry this stuff. Uh, because, yeah, then I can hold more, I can stay out longer, and my multiplier gets higher. Um, after the first couple of points going in there, I'll, I'll splash them into something else instead after I've, I've put three or four points into yeah into my capacity I'll go ahead for some speed let's do some speed there now I can fly faster I can hold more fantastic now you do see that you can uh, ambush these little carts as they go from town to town or area to area there are defenses as you can see right here oh, a uh, an archer towns will spawn defenses after a while there's also a mechanic where you can you can force a town to pay you tribute essentially um, by by burning their buildings but not destroying them. Um, that ain't gonna work since I just destroyed that. And they will actually start paying you tribute. They will start sending a cart. See, this cart's going to the Yellow Dragon. And that is sending tribute from the town to the Yellow Dragon. So it's an interesting little, uh, a little mechanic there. Um, let's see, let me drop off. Oh, empty. And I want a town... Yellow Dragon's controlling all the towns. Okay, so let me try to get this town to like me. There we go. 
just have to poke it a little bit, torture it a little bit, and it will quickly uh, bend to your will. So you're noticing I'm running out of fire occasionally. I have to kind of stop up in the upper left-hand corner where you can see my uh, my name, Naked Man, and my dragon portrait. You can see a little energy bar, and that energy bar determines how much fire I have. And by increasing the fire uh, stat when I get my upgrades, I can increase the amount of capacity that I have. So next time I get an upgrade, we'll take a look at that. I'll show you what I mean. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much the game. The thing is, it gets more complicated as you go. Things increase in size and complexity. Uh, cities get more and more archers to defend them. Uh, these... Uh, there are no castles that I see, but castles uh, that do spawn in other maps. Uh, castles get more and more defenses. They get knights. Um, things like that. So... You know, it gets more complex. In fact, yeah, there are no castles on this map. There are no princesses on this map. How can I play with no princesses to kidnap? Come on. All right. Well, you kind of get the gist of this. Um, no princesses, so man, I really want to play a different map so we can see some princesses. All right, so here we go again. So the fire here, as I increase the fire, my little bar will increase. If you watch, I think this bar will extend. Yeah, look at that, bam. Wow, something that I thought was going to happen, happened. It's got to be a first for this show. Right, so let's look for another map. Let's get ourselves another map with some princesses on it, man. Okay, let's trade in that boring old map for this new map. We're still in treasure mode, but this time we are playing the... What am I? The uh, Red Dragon? Okay. I am the Red Dragon, and we are on a much larger map with, yes, four dragons. And here we go. Alright, burn down the first building. Filling myself up and dropping my business off. Oh, what are you... Oh! That dragon was coming at me! Jeez! Alright. Thought I was going to have to fight him there for a second. Speaking of that, I don't really know if the dragons fight or not. Um, yeah, not sure. Maybe we can figure that out. Yeah. All right, so turning in, turning in, turning in, getting my first upgrade, and uh, yeah, I'm going to upgrade my capacity once again. Uh, let's see, did I have something else? Ooh, okay, so I've got enough left over. I didn't even realize that. Oh, what a new move. So here we go, going to continue to burn down these lovely and delicious mills. Stop that. Let's see if I can force this town to give me tribute. Come on, give me tribute. 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 I demand... Whoa, Archer. I demand tribute. I will not stop burning your... Whoa. Okay. I will not stop burning your town until you give me tribute. Why is that the voice of the dragon? That is the lamest dragon. Would anybody be af afraid of that dragon, honestly? It'd be, you know, giant dragon, huge wings, you know, red scales, fire blazing, and he comes up and goes, I demand you give me tribute or I shall burn your village. I don't think anybody would be scared of that dragon. All right, I want to see a princess. I need a princess. I want a princess. I must have a princess. So I'm watching these carts. Uh, you can see around the edge of the screen, you get a display. Oh, a knight. Ah, slayed crap. So you see all these little carts and these little icons moving around the edges of the screen. When you uh, when a princess spawns, you'll see it. It'll be like, like a slightly more ornate carriage, and uh, it will attempt to move to the nearest town. So, <laughs> ow! So I need a princess to spawn. I also need this town to pay me tribute. All right, let's go back and let's turn this stuff in. Because if you... Oh, there's a princess! Oh, okay, princess. Awesome. I got a princess. Okay, so I just grabbed the princess. I'm dropping her off at my base. And the knights are coming after her. I'm teaming up. Oh, no, dude took my princess. Okay, I got it. I thought, I thought the pink, uh, the purple pink dragon there almost stole my princess. And yes, indeed, they will. As you can see, they will still... Steal? Still? They will steal your princess. And he stole my princess. Oh! 
bastard dragon stole my princess. Ugh. All right, I need more flame capacity. After all that princess talk. Ooh, ooh, ooh what the? Okay. That red knight. The red knights can basically like one shot you. It's unpleasant. Oh, there we go. I got that dragon. That's what you get for. What's that? Okay, that's what you get for taking my princess. Alrighty. I am pretty far behind here. Jeez, well, I'm pretty far behind Genghis. But I'm doing okay compared to the other two dragons. I don't know, Genghis must be over there in his own little corner just... stealing all the princesses. I don't know which one with the blue is Genghis. Yeah, I haven't even seen the blue dragon, so... Yeah, he's sequestered. Oh! See, so all these archers here to skate by them really quickly. Oh, look at that. Whoa, knights. Ah, uh, archers. Oh, uh, okay. So I gotta try to defend this princess, but these knights are gonna be more than I can handle. Thank you so much. She's fast. Getting her back to the yeah. Whoa, all right. So yeah, that knight totally stole that princess from me. I'm gonna have to increase my defenses. I'm too squishy. A little speed on top of that. So if you stand back in your zone here in your little uh, treasure cave. You'll get your life back. So I suppose one strategy would kind of just be to sort of farm out these uh, easy things near your base and uh, just grab a bunch of money. But as you know, I am obsessed with capturing a princess. So we will do that. A little white bar has to fill up to the top. Uh, no! Ah! Ah, uh, I cannot save a princess. I, or I cannot steal a princess. They keep saving her. Ugh, all right. Well, guys, I'm going to keep playing this, and I'm going to keep trying to rescue... Rescue? I said rescue. No, I am going to keep trying to kidnap a princess. Ooh, princess. Oh, that guy's coming to steal my business. This is the guy in the little blue cloak. He comes to steal your gold. They're always trying to steal my gold, although I'm not a leprechaun. Oh, princess cap, princess cap. Oh, yeah, that's a princess cap. Fireworks going off to celebrate my amazing victory. All right, guys, so let's talk about Horde. What do we think about Horde? Well, I enjoy it. I mean, it's a nice time waster. Um, I don't know about the depth of the game. I mean, this is pretty much the game. This is what happens. You have the other modes. There is online as well. So I think there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of possibilities with the game. It does get very difficult. Uh, the survival mode is very difficult. Uh, you can see some of these uh, some of these knights can one-shot you pretty easily. Uh, so it's it's a challenging game to play. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, I do like a challenge. So oh, uh, oh, princess, I love you. Come back. Yeah, I do like a challenge. I mean, I like a challenging game. Who who doesn't? Well, I guess a lot of people don't. But I, I enjoy a challenging game. I enjoy the challenge of this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know that I would pay full price for it, so I'm going to rate it four bucks out of five. It is fun. I do enjoy it. Um, it is a blast for uh, the first several hours that you have it. Uh, it does get a bit repetitive after that, but hey, for $2.99, which, which is what I got it for, it's definitely worth it. So I would say if you can find this game for less than $5, I would most definitely recommend that you buy it. Yes, this has been Horde by Big Sandwich, and uh, until next time, guys... Take it easy. Try to steal my business. That guy looks like the little, uh, the little gnomes in, uh, the gnome dwarf whatever guys in uh, Golden Axe that come in the night to steal your potions. Oh, nice. I wonder if that's an intentional reference. Fantastic. <laughs>